Glenn Youngkin has been unofficially declared the next governor of Virginia, the first Republican to hold that position since Bob McDonald took office in 2010. CBS 6's Caroline Colburn has the latest results from the election. Caroline. Well, Rob, just about two hours ago, Terry McAuliffe officially conceded via email, releasing a statement that reads in part, quote, while last night we came up short, I'm proud that we spent this campaign fighting for the values we so deeply believe in. Now, in that email, the former governor also congratulated Glenn Youngkin on his victory and said he will never stop fighting to make our Commonwealth stronger and brighter for all. We heard from Governor-elect Youngkin early this morning, and he already has big plans for his first day in office. The Republican plans to propose the largest education budget in the history of the Commonwealth. He also says he's going to eliminate the grocery tax and the most recent hike in the gas tax, and he wants to comprehensively fund law enforcement. Take a listen to what McAuliffe and Youngkin had to say after learning Youngkin would be the next governor. So I just want to thank all of you for what you have meant to us. I look around this room and I see so many friends we've worked with for many years. This is a different state. We are the greatest state in the United States of America. And it's because of you. Thank you. God bless you. And let's go on and forward. Thank you. My fellow Virginians, this is our moment. It's our moment for parents, for grandparents, for aunts, for uncles, for neighbors to change the future of Virginia's children's lives, to change their Virginia journey. It's our time to turn that vision into a reality. Now, Governor Ralph Northam also announced this morning that he's spoken with Youngkin and congratulated him on his victory. Northam adds the two will meet tomorrow to begin a smooth transition to the Youngkin administration. Rob, back to you.